Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to Bioshock in our uh, Let's Replay series. We're still heading towards the metro station uh, down below there in this lovely garden here in Arcadia. We're still in Arcadia and I actually never checked this thing here. Uh, there's also a hatch here where we ended. I'm just going to quickly uh, take a look here. There we go. And uh, open up the safe with an auto hack. Let's see what's inside. 20 anti-personnel rounds, we've been using those. Electric bucks and dollars. Apparently someone died here as well. There's a lot of splices in the neighborhood as well, as you can hear. And hopefully we can take those out. So, uh, as I said before, each area in uh, Rapture we're going through has its own team. And this one is clearly, well, biology slash botany. There we go, another Houdini Splicer. Let's uh, head over... Uh, that was weird, he didn't get extra electrocuted because of the water. Quickly another one, there we go, another level in the Houdini Splicer tree. Need some peace and quiet, splice and natural camouflage, stop moving and just fade away. Remember, not seeing is believing. That's a really good one. When standing still, you become invisible. Um, but I'm not going to use it just yet because of the other ones that are pretty good. So uh, let's store that in the Jeden Bank for now. And let's whack him. Apparently that did electrocute the water. It's weird that it didn't electrocute him immediately that way. But hey. Uh, chlorophyll solution, yeah, that's something we're gonna need in the future, but not just yet. I don't think there's cameras over here. Only a shovel. I kicked the shovel, and I think someone just entered, yeah. So let's just take the anti-personnel rounds. There we go. You can stay right over there, sir. Another uh, dead splicer. Tommy gun. Nothing special. But of course the U invent. So let's hack this thing. I'm clearly gonna have to invent in some uh, invest in some uh, tonics that help me with hacking because that was ridiculous. Um, armor piercing is nice. Exploding bucks is actually nicer. So let's go with that first. And let's uh, head back outside because there's nothing right here for us now. So let's get back. Now we're going to follow the marker. Uh, I know we haven't just yet, but uh, we'll do that right now. Uh, maybe hack this thing as well, now that we're here. There we go, a lot easier than that other thing was. The u vents are always a bit harder. So there's another big daddy. I don't think we immediately need to anger it, but maybe this is a good opportunity for us to, well, take pictures. And of course, uh, I wanted to show you what the little sister does, in fact. So, uh, no, 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 we're not gonna do anything. We're not gonna do anything. We're just taking pictures. Let's take a few of the Big Daddy as well. Don't know how far we are. Oh yeah, so one more picture should do it. There we go, that should boost our damage against these as well. And now we're gonna just follow them. I don't think there's a lot of corpses in the neighborhood. Oh, whoa, 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 dude, where the, what the fuck? Okay then, that was aggressive all of a sudden. So he left her little sister, his little sister a bit away. So I don't think she's gonna find another corpse. Because she's uh, just wandering around and I think she's heading towards uh, the end here, so I'm gonna just fight him. There we go. Oh shit, 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 shit. There we go. A fire took care of him. I only had to heal once, apparently, so. Here you go. Come to me. I'm gonna have to show you guys in, uh, at another time then, because she apparently didn't find much corpses here. 
Although I killed half the splicer population here. Apparently that wasn't enough. So uh, let's Thank swap to the... Well, the normal bucks for now. And uh, goodbye little sister. Okay, that door just violently uh, pushed that big daddy out of the way. So let's search these things. And that oil slick actually did its job remarkably well. So let's follow the... Oh uh, shit. The marker now. Yep, yeah, thank you. And uh, let's try and head out through the rolling hills. That's the rolling hills. And towards the uh, Rapture Metro over here. On the surface, I once bought a forest. The parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that I establish a public park there. Why? So the rabble could stand slack-jawed under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise earned. When Congress moved to nationalize my forest, I burnt it to the ground. God did not plant the seeds in this Arcadia. I did. So uh, that was another quote by Ryan talking about the garden. So let's research this uh, rocket turret and then just hack it. When he was talking about that garden he burned down, that was not actually the garden we're in. It, it was, he was not talking about Arcadia in that quote, but rather a garden he uh, made when he was still years away from Rapture. And uh, people, he didn't like the fact that uh, the government claimed the garden for itself and the, well, the residents of the, the city. So he burned it to the ground, so uh, typical Andrew Ryan. Uh, as you can see, there's a hidden passage through here. I think if I if it would let me, or it's supposed to be for a bit later on, but it's supposed to be able to go through here. Apparently not today. Maybe it'll uh, open up in a minute. So there's another big daddy here. Just gonna take some pictures because he's not uh, carrying any little sisters. Because, of course, we've done all the little sisters already, so, uh... Another Accuvox shouldn't have come. The minute we came here, Marsha started screaming. Mama, Mama, what is that? What is that? I thought she was having some kind of seizure. And then I realized... Trees. Trees. Never saw one before. Thought they were monsters. Oh, Sammy, maybe we never should have come to this place. So that was the singer again, Mariska Lutz, uh, the one that was looking for her daughter, Masha, but one from before, well, when she actually was living at Rapture for a few uh, years. So that also indicates that Masha, her daughter, was actually born inside of Rapture, since she never saw trees before, and that way she... Uh, was terrified of the things because she didn't know what they were. I think there's another turret over here somewhere, or I might be mistaken. But then! So another very interesting thing about Arcadia is that it actually provides Rapture with oxygen because because we're underwater the oxygen supply is limited and the trees actually provide all the oxygen for uh, the entire city. With the trees gone we might as well all suffocate. So just leaving right now is not really an option. Well just plainly because we would all die anyway. So uh, now we have to see uh, Julie Langford, as I told you before, her office is right up there, as the marker already indicates. And uh, there we go. Professor Julie Langford Research Laboratories. Interesting. So uh, we need to head in this direction. There's a camera over here. I'm going to take a few pictures as well. There we go. 
We find twice the film on destroyed security cameras. I haven't found much film on cameras yet. So that's a bit double. So I'm gonna hack him. There we go, another camera at our disposal. Let's fill up with this coffee over here and the bandages. And then we could easily head in through that door, but I'm always looking for new stuff, so... Let's see if we can't hack this thing as well. There we go, let's see what we can buy. Nothing really of interest, because I have a lot of ammo still left. So let's head inside. Hello! My trees! It wasn't you, was it? No. Ryan. I think I've got a way to save the trees. It's a genetic vector that... Oh, who I'm talking to. Could you find a sample of Rosa Gallica for me? Look in the grotto. I've got to keep working while there's time. So, Julie Langford believes she can actually save the trees with uh, something called a genetic vector. And for that, we need to find a plant. So these guys are actually freaking out right now. Because, of course, the trees are dying and they think that I did that, but I didn't. I didn't. So there's a lot of spices still left, I think. I think there's at least one more left. It's just a bad quarter. So he's over there. Yeah, Mark will come back, huh? You get piled it. I think there's a, a Houdini splice over there. So yeah, that's the cave entrance we couldn't enter before, I think, or one of the entrances. So there's a reason why we couldn't. Because it was uh, kept for this bit. Kind of forgot about that, but hey. So now we can enter this place. And this place is actually the home of those Houdini splicer uh, cults. Because uh, those markings we've seen on the wall, like the ones over there and over there, uh, are actually made by those Houdini splices. You can hear him laughing, but we can't really pinpoint his location just yet. And there is another audio diary here, the Saturnine. They dress up in leaves and call themselves the Saturnine. Please. They drink human blood and chant, Harness the flame, harness the mist, and believe they're touched by the ancient god. <laughs> An aging bunch of frat boys tilting back goblets of plasmids and calling it Ambrosia. So there we go, Julie Langford's uh, opinion about these uh, Saturnine Houdini splices who think they are blessed by the gods. So there's another big daddy. Kind of spooked me over there. Uh, we're in water again, so I can't really use Electro Bolt. So what I am going to use is Telekinesis. Um, I think I might go for the anti-personnel rounds. Let's equip those and let's head in. So when we come closer, the dolls are lit aflame. But nothing really happens yet until we actually get closer. The mask pops off its uh, stand and as we turn around, nothing happens. So let's see. Uh, let's search the steamer trunk. Nothing there. I think I'm going to leave that here. The chlorophyll solution. Uh, is nothing gonna happen? I think something's about to happen. Hello? I'm the goddamn doctor. So there we go, we can catch the fireballs he throws. It's a standard procedure! I think I... Didn't I get him? I think I got him. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, that's the Houdini splicer. So let's head back up. And I think... Oh yeah, there we go. So now it's open. Because uh, that's what I was uh, looking for. So another bit of these uh, caverns. They kind of made weird dolls with... I'm going to suppose those are boobs. Or supposed to be boobs. But yeah, a bit of a weird religious cult. Um... And I think. Oh. Okay, he doesn't immediately fire for some reason. There we go. Nothing too problematic, I 
thought there was something here, but I'm kind of missing it right now. A lot of dead ends. That's here. What's the point in going in here? I thought there was... Something. And apparently I'm missing it. So those are more of those symbols. They don't actually do anything. They're just there for decoration and indication that that religious cult passed through. But yeah, I thought there was something here, but apparently it isn't. There's more of this chlorophyll solution, but I think we're going to need that a bit later on. So let's leave that there right now. And let's just follow uh, the indicator. Hello, Big Daddy. So now we're looking for that rose and that rose... Okay. Those are nicely clustered over there. There we go. And they are, we're gathering around this tonic. I think it's tonic. Yeah, there we go. Security evasion has a rival faction that set up security cameras and turrets where you need to go. Security evasion adjusts the thermal signature of your epidermal layer, confusing cameras and turrets and delaying their response. Uh, not really useful for me, I think. So we're gonna just leave it at that. Those guys just died horribly because they were not paying attention because you should always be paying attention. So right over there, down there is the Rosa Gallagher plant. Uh, we're gonna try and reach that without too many issues because there's a lot of traps as you can see around this place including a turret over there um, what we could do is just jump down but the problem is that that turret is still there of course so I'm gonna duck underneath these uh, swap to electro bolt Oh fuck, there's a camera over there as well. Shit. Um, so I'm gonna have to... Hack this. There we go. And let's uh, electrobolt that thing, hack it. And there goes a the camera, and I think we have one turret left, as you can clearly hear. There's Firing at each other, which I would try to avoid. And there we go. And I think that. Oh, stop firing, stop firing. Yeah, okay. Uh, I thought there was one extra down here. So I left all the electric wires over there for a reason. Because it kind of one shots splicers. And we're going to be able to use that help in a minute. I'm gonna quickly just turn back and see if I didn't miss anything. So there's a room over here as well, which might come in handy. More film. That thing is making a weird noise. And heroes and criminals. I couldn't believe how much things had changed since I left Dr. Steinman's office. It's like I don't even recognize Rapture no more. I hear they've been rounding up people in Paula Square. I asked Ryan how could he do such things to innocents. He said, Innocents, if they haven't chosen to defend Rapture, they've chosen to side with Atlas and his bandits. So there are no innocents. There are heroes, and there are criminals. So, uh, Diane McClintock is the woman we've heard a few times now, who was, uh, attacked by um, an angry mob on New Year's Eve. Uh, I'm gonna put a few traps down. Um, and she went to Steinman, as we know, to get better, to uh, fix her face up and, uh, and whatnot. But that took a while, so when she returned, Rapture was already in disrepair, so Andrew Ryan was already busy well, murdering everybody who didn't who didn't like him. So that's that. There's more proximity mines over here, so I might as well lay one more trap right here. Let's take this one as well and put it right here on the steps and fire another proximity mine at it. There we go. And let's take this. Thank you. 
So we can hear splices already, but that's not really uh, of interest. So there we go, another diary. Gregory, Offer a better product. Don't come whining to me about market forces, and don't expect me to punish citizens for showing a little initiative. If you don't like what Fontaine is doing, well, I suggest you find a way to offer a better product. Kind of got spooked by the uh, turret here. And there we go. Hacking turrets automatically succeeds, which will make our lives really, really easy. Because there we go. Making photos of uh, turrets makes you apparently so good at hacking that you uh, can hack them immediately without any trouble. There we go. I would like a few first aid kits because we're running pretty low. Uh, I don't think we can do anything right here. That just leads back to where we came from. So let's pick the roads. We've uh, made ourselves a pretty, pretty defensible position. I'm going to hide over there next to the turret and just let the traps do the work. But first, early tests Promising from uh, Julie Langford, I think. Yes, yes, yes. I know about the lockdown. It's absurd. Just give me a minute. These Lazarus tests are very promising. If the Rosa Gallica blew, then by God, I know we're in business. Hurry, the lockdown! Hmm? Oh, all right, I'm leaving. But somebody has to find a way to come back to check on these samples. They're very important. So, uh... Julia Langford was working on something she called the Lazarus Vector. Lazarus is, of course, the devil that came back to life. So Lazarus uh, always in the well, kind of always indicates that it's something about reviving. And uh, since we're gonna make a Lazarus Vector using these roses, they're meant to revive the trees out there. Once we pick these up, um, we're gonna incite hell for some reason because. Apparently every splicer knows that we pick a rose. Uh, the other interesting thing about that audio diary was that Arcadia was apparently locked down. Probably because of those uh, religious nuts going uh, completely rebellious. And uh, therefore Judy Langford locked herself in her office as we saw. So let's pick the rose and let's hide. Let's listen. So that's shooting already. Okay. Are they coming or? Oh, they're up there. No, no, no. Come on. Can you see me? I don't think you can. Um. So they're kind of fixed on my position for some reason. So. I'm gonna have to lure them further. Well, they're clearly dying. So, there's clearly still a few alive. No, you need to come to me, that's the point. Seriously? Dude! Oh, come on! Move! To... Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, die already. Die. Jesus. I put all those traps down and you didn't even trigger a single one. For fuck's sake. Even the turret didn't even die. Oh, jeez. Well, since we don't... Oh, wow. I actually missed all those grenades for some reason. Because I kind of used one. And there's a lot of first aid kits here as well. So... What I'm going to do next is actually use Telekinesis. Pick up the guy's corpse, which was over there somewhere. His pistol. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted. And then just use that to trigger all the electric thingies. 
There we go. Thank you. The other thing we can do with that is actually throw the corpse in someone's face, which is al always uh, hilarious, hilarious fun. No splices? No splices? Oh, come on. So now we're going to head back to uh, Julie Langford's office and try to give her the Rosa Galaga in an attempt to, well, make that Lazarus factor and fix the trees. There's apparently... Oh, he's, he's dead immediately. Wow, that killed him in one hit. Killed by a corpse. Uh, that must be the most efficient way to killing somebody then. Well, the lead head splices anyway. Uh, that was, well, more effective than I expected. So let's head back to Julie. And uh, let's see what she can tell us. What, what she can do with that rose. You brought the Rosa Gallica? Oh, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Send it through the new mode. Well, an engraved invitation would be nice, but let's send Rose through. Did you get it? It's perfect. Perfect. Come on up to my office. I'm letting you in now. Okay. Just the thing to put the green back in this forest. Sounds like a plan. And there we have another tonic. Hacking expert, the original hex margin tonic. Hacking expert diffuses alarms and helps avoid overloads. It's the must-have plasmid of the Hacksmart line. And since it actually is, um I I think I'm gonna one fewer alarm tile and one fewer overload tile while hacking. I like that. I like that. So I'm gonna use that. Uh, nothing in the desk. Uh, lap access seal. So there, here we can see the the uh, override the the lockdown that was used to uh, lock down the office. Uh, there's a lot of things here we can hack in the next room as well, and that's gonna be important later on. so those turrets won't bite. Come on up to my office. So there we go. So Julie Langford has the security at her disposal. I'm just gonna take this. Isn't there anything in this damn place those pagans won't steal? Paper towels, ink pots, witch hazel, chlorophyll solution, even my back issues of National Geographic. They're feathering their disgusting little shrines with it, I suppose. Sick bastards. So uh, Julie also uh, had a bit of trouble with the Saturnine stealing everything. So as we get closer, we can, there's actually an, uh, a little sister vent here as well, which is kind of weird in my opinion. We have a little over two minutes left until the security system re-engages, so they don't stay friendly for long. Let's listen to the rest of the diaries. Who says you can't teach an old how new tricks? This batty plant woman spends four years coming up with ways to defoliate trees in the Pacific to scare out the Japs. And now here I am, down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Adam, Adam, Adam. It's bathtub gin times the atom bomb times Eve with a serpent. Let's go see what it can do. So uh, her previous job was actually to destroy plants in an attempt to scare away the locals. But uh, here she does the opposite. So let's hack the health station. There we go. That's already something that will stay at our disposal. Um, let's see if there's anything else here. There's another vending machine here as well. So that took more than a few tries. That was annoying. So first aid kits. I really need first aid kits and I have plenty of money to go around. So uh, there's another U invent here. I'm going to auto hack this one because I'm starting to gather a lot of auto hacks. And well, now that we're here, we might as well make an automatic hack tool and a few more exploding bugs. There we go. Um, is there something else here? There probably is. We'll have more time later on here. This is actually funny. There's another wrench here. Not that we can actually dual wield wrenches right now, but it's a nice little detail. We're going to have more time in this area later on, so I'm not going to go over it in minute detail. So let's just head up to the office right now before we actually run out of security time. So hello, Julie. There she is, because uh, she actually looks pretty normal. We made a business deal, you and I, did we not? Money changed hands. Let me read to you from the agreement. Section 3, subsection 4. Mr. Ryan. Ryan Industries maintains exclusive rights to the creation, use, and exploitation of the Lazarus vector. And Only oh. Wait, no, please. 
So Ryan just killed off Julie Langford. But in a last ditch attempt, she's gonna help us out. So, uh, nine, four, five, seven. And I really love those little two uh, hand swipes at the end. There we go. Every time we get a yard ahead, Ryan goes and moves the goal line down to the other side of the field. So, so Andrew Ryan just killed off Julie Langford in uh, this room. Which actually makes this a bit weird, because we enter the same room, which should allow Ryan to kill us in the same way. Because he locked down the door and just gassed the room. But apparently he's not able to do that, weirdly. So she left us a code, 9457. Um, and she also has an audio diary on her body, so let's listen to the Lazarus Vector. back in the 20s on the jab at Iwo Jima but I never brought one back from the grave before I did Becky mama's gonna build her first damn franken tree I'm gonna call my little creation the Lazarus Vector maybe it'll bring the old gal's career back from the dead as well so that confirms that Langford actually succeeded in bringing back a tree from the dead well as far as you can say that a tree is completely dead so they brought back the, the, the trees itself. Uh, and here we have our next weapon, the Chemical Thrower. So let's pick up the liquid nitrogen. And the Chemical Thrower is actually really interesting. This electric gel is actually the easiest way to take down a big daddy. Because you can just stream it in his face. He won't be able to do anything uh, except die. So uh, we're going to be using that later on. So from now on I think it's going to be a lot, lot easier to kill off big daddies. Um, Especially with this thing. So let's take a look around. Of course the uh, safe over there, the painting over there is already... Okay, that was weird. Somebody was screaming in my ear. Uh, the painting over there is already half open. So let's open this. And there's a wall safe. And of course, five, four, five, seven, uh, 9457 is actually the code. 945. And yes, of course the other side. 7. There we go. Not that hard of a puzzle, but hey. So we have a market key and another audio box. The only ones around to appreciate it are a bunch of spliced up morons. I've cracked the vector, or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit. So now we have a multi-part call. We need to invent the Lazarus Factor and we just got all the parts we need. We need chlorophyll solution, we've been seeing that around. Then uh, some bee spit, which is some really weird things. And then distilled water. We also got the market key, which actually allows us to access another area within Arcadia. Actually the farmer's market. So uh, that's our next objective, but I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.